I'm going to be actually talking about a topic that's a little different from my usual multi-language Pokemon openings, and it actually has to do with Japanese Pokemon cards, surprisingly. I know Japanese cards have definitely seen an uptrend in popularity over the past three years, especially since I've started doing YouTube, which is great to see. I'm glad a lot of people are comfortable with Japanese cards. Unfortunately, it the popularity has led to the boxes, products, singles, you know, the cost of everything going up rapidly to the point where a lot of people are priced out, product is hard to get, scammers are everywhere, etc. But that is besides the topic of today's video. There is a terminology that I do want to discuss that a lot of people I've noticed, you know, even since three years ago, may have used without really knowing the meaning behind it. And the term that I'm specifically talking about is a three-letter term called Jap. So I know a lot of people may think at first that this is like a shorthand or abbreviation of the word Japanese. Logically makes sense because it's the first three letters of the word Japanese. But what a lot of people don't realize, some might do, some might not, um, is that it has a dark history of being like a derogatory term or a racial slur towards Japanese people specifically living in America. Now this term really wasn't offensive prior the attack of Pearl Harbor in World War II. It was mainly after that. It was mainly a term used by Americans towards Japanese people living in America due to the tensions between Japan and America at that time. This is like the 1940s. And it would be used in a way where it felt like Japanese people weren't welcome in the country. I don't really want to use specific examples because it is a very sensitive topic. I don't want people to feel attacked or uncomfortable. But the main point is do not use this term if you can avoid it, um, especially when referring to Japanese Pokemon cards. I've seen a lot of people from European countries say that this is like a normal term or even like you know other countries outside the US but really in reality there are people that will be offended by this like you never know who you're talking to maybe someone's a friend or a relative someone who was alive during the war you know maybe living in America and face that type of discrimination it's just not a good idea to bring up those bad memories again for those people and if it can be avoided it's much better to do so that way now actually too i i did encounter this back in like 2020 2021 ish where the there was a grading company called pca this is actually a grading company based in france and they cater more towards the european collectors um, instead of, you know, P PSA or Beckett, etc. But back then I did notice people grading with their slabs and when, whenever they labeled Japanese Pokemon cards, they did use the term Jap instead of Japanese, JP, JPN, which are much more acceptable terms in my opinion. So I reached out to actually one of my current friends named Pokemice YT, that was her former name, now she's known as The Mice Farm. She lives in the Netherlands and she does great with this company. I brought it to her attention and said, hey, can I please have a word with you? Because I noticed the slabs that you're grading with use this term Jap, which I'm not sure if you're aware is actually offensive towards Japanese people, some of them who are, you know, have maybe witnessed the world war. And, you know, we discussed it over the phone. She was actually very graceful about it, you know, very open ears, understood, you know, that it actually really isn't an acceptable term. And she went as far as actually contacting the company. You can even see the discussion right here. And the company themselves were also very understanding. And, you know, as a grading company, you, you would take your uh, reputation seriously, I'd hope. And in order to avoid offending anybody, they, you know, thankfully changed their term from Jap to JP whenever labeling Japanese cards. And you know, I thanked her for this. We became great friends after that. And you know, to even go that far as a grading company to change the terms, you know, they took it seriously. It is a serious term. There are people out there that will get offended by this term. So if you weren't aware of this terminology and the meaning behind it in the first place, don't feel bad. You know, it's not something that you pick up on, you know, casually, especially if you're located outside the United States. I'll admit I did learn this in um, American history. You know, not everyone has in-depth American history knowledge, etc. But at least I just wanted to bring it to the public's attention moving forward. Maybe we can all, you know, use the term JPN or JP or even the word Japanese just to make it more straightforward, just to avoid, you know, hurting anyone's feelings, bringing up bad memories of that time. You know, it is under 100 years ago, so it's still somewhat, you know, relevant. I know it's considered like a while ago by now, but still, if you can avoid hurting someone's feelings or bringing up bad memories, it's definitely much better to do so. I just feel like it's important for me as a multi-language Pokemon collector to bring this up to your attention, and hopefully all of us can avoid putting someone in that uncomfortable situation when using that terminology. And you know, even other people in Pokemon I've seen have also made mention of this too. So, you know, things like that won't reach everybody, but if I can reach a few more people today, hundreds of people, thousands of people, that's better than nothing. So thank you guys for taking the time to listen to what I have to say. 
today and if you want to show more support for my channel i did release my own trainer card that i made from scratch over the course of four months if you want your own copy feel free to send me a message on instagram to secure your own copy thank you guys so much again for your support and i'll see you in the next video